Am I the asshole? For not going to my sister's wedding? I have been married to my wonderful wife for a year. My sister is getting married October 1st. I'm happy for her, but I'm not attending the wedding. Sister is one of the angriest people I've ever met. Mom brushes it off because sister's a tiny blonde who weighs 105 pounds soaking wet, but she has rages that can last for days. If you do something she disapproves of, she'll scream and sob and break things. It's been this way our whole lives, and she's never once faced consequences or admitted to wrongdoing. Well, if you can't guess from the fact that I'm posting here, I did something she didn't like, and her response led me to block her on everything. If I'm the asshole for doing this, I'm ready to accept my judgment. But I think I made the right decision. I'm the only boy in my family. When I married wife, I took her last name. I did it for practical reasons my last name was hard to pronounce spell, and hers is a word. Think Jessica Rabbit or Grace Slick. That's my wife. She never has to spell it out or help pronounce it, and ever since I took her name, I've been significantly happier. I work on a construction site, and even the meatheads there said, wow, that's much easier. Good call. Sister who didn't attend my wedding, FDR was absolutely furious when I told her. Screamed at me, called my wife an emasculating abusive bitch, said she was going to start calling me Mrs., and that wife's not invited to the wedding. I said if wife isn't invited then I'm not invited we're a package deal. Sister told us both to fuck off, and I thought that was the end of it. We didn't speak for months, but then a wedding invitation arrived in the mail. It was addressed to me. Just me, using my old name. No acknowledgement of my new name or my wife. I swear, if sister had simply addressed the invitation to Mr. and Mrs. new name, I would have taken it as a sign that she felt remorse. Wife agrees that the gesture would have gone a long way. But instead sister decided to toss in what felt like a final petty dick. I told sister we would only attend if she apologized for calling my wife a bitch. She refused, accused us of giving her an ultimatum, and said we were punishing her for having an opinion. I no longer care that it's my sister's wedding I refuse to subject my wife to what will surely be an abusive train wreck. Now that the wedding is only a few weeks away, my family's been hounding me non-stop. They don't understand how I could miss my sister's big day, and they think she can't be held accountable for her actions because planning a wedding is stressful. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. X200B. Mark that piece of mail unknown return to sender and send it right back to her. Not the asshole, they were okay with sister missing your big day. They were okay with her being abusive when you were planning your weddings. Keep her in time out. Punishing her for having an opinion. She has rights to have an opinion, but that doesn't mean her opinion won't have consequences. She doesn't get a say about your life choices. Finally, she has disrespected you and your wife by using your old name. It's not an opinion, it's deliberate disrespect I'd have made all of those conversations public on Facebook and then blocked her. Op, not the asshole. Miss my sister's big day up why would you want to go? She is insufferable and mean. Family doesn't obligate you to endlessly be abused. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If your sister behaves like this then I'm sure you will be able to attend one of her future weddings. It will only be a matter of time before she ruins her spouse's life and ends up alone. Maybe your sister is hungry? Buy her a box of Snickers and mail it to her as your wedding gift. Not the asshole. Size is irrelevant your sister is abusive period. For some reason your family continues to not only enable it, but expect for others to accept this pathetic behavior. While they're prepared to accept, why on earth would you? And shame on your parents for allowing her to treat their other kid and his wife this way. They suck, too. I feel sorry for your sister's husband and any poor kids if she chooses to have any. The sister is a real peach. What does his mom mean by making her go alone? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I wouldn't go either. 
This is classic narcissistic behavior by your sister. Besides, technically, the invite wasn't really addressed to you, was it? Not the asshole. X200B. This is one of those cases where the family is hoping the same reasonable person will suck up all the BS so that they can pretend everything is lovely. Your sister sounds like a horror. Neither you nor your wife deserve to be treated that way. I would have no interest in having a relationship with your sister, but I do love the way you are sticking up for your wife. That part is outstanding you are definitely not the asshole. Not the asshole. You aren't even remotely an asshole here. Your sister's behavior sounds appalling and abusive. Going to her wedding would be enabling her and would send the message that it's okay for her to continue acting in this way. You are 100 doing the right thing and it sounds as though you are better steering way clear of her and perhaps other family members too. My husband's family fell out with us after we got engaged and displayed a lot of toxic behavior ending in them giving him an ultimatum me or them. He chose to cut them out and says he's so much happier for it no toxicity now. Not the asshole protect yourself and your wife from your angry crazy sister. Not the asshole. Some people are just toxic and sis sounds like one of them. Going Elsie or North Carolina with her seems a good idea. First step, skip the wedding. To all the people saying how could you miss your sister's wedding? Remind them about how she missed yours. You if you attend the wedding. Stand by your wife op, your sister is toxic and your family is enabling her. Not the asshole. Not by a long shot. It's not that you're punishing her for having an opinion it's that you're setting a boundary and sticking to it. From the sounds of things, your sister has never met a boundary she can't bust destroy and has never, ever been held accountable for her actions. The family has enabled her probably because it's easier than incurring her off. And yeah, planning a wedding is stressful. That doesn't mean you get to take a pass on being a decent human being though. Wow, what the hell is wrong with the rest of your family by enabling her? Not the asshole you and your wife should plan a weekend away to completely avoid any family members during the wedding. I would keep your phone on mute and have a great time with no drama. Your sister is a train wreck and hopefully she will grow up or her marriage will not last very long. Not the asshole you weren't invited, why would you go? Good for you for sticking up for your wife. Not the asshole I would have sent it returned to sender, no one hear it with that name. Why didn't the sister go to your wedding? Just curious. BTW, totally not the asshole. Sister's a tiny blonde who weighs 105 pounds soaking wet, but she has rages that can last for days. If you do something she disapproves of, she'll scream and sob and break things. It's been this way our whole lives, and she's never once faced consequences or admitted to wrongdoing. So your sister is really the golden hair child. Well now she is facing the consequences. Since it was said the other sibling backed out as well. Natar. I get it with the name change I have one of those last names that no one wants to try to pronounce. Not the asshole. You told her the boundary and she crossed it thus telling you, non-verbally that she does not want you at the wedding, and she doubled down on this by using the wrong name. Do no go let her finally have consequences for her behavior. I can only imagine the shitstorm that the wedding is going to be, grimacing face. So many things go wrong on the day of that with her short fuse, it's going to be more dramatic and explosive than a telenovela. Not the asshole, my late brother was a sadistic narcissist with massive rage issues way more than a temper. By the time he was nine he was proud of the fact he could inflict pain and not leave a mark. The second best day of my life was the day he moved out of state after his divorce. All of us cut contact with him for good. Sister is one of the angriest people I've ever met. To sister. If you read this, you suck. Your anger is no reason based on who you are. Get an anger management, you elephant brain. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your sister sounds like a psycho. A therapist once told me, every family is ruled by its most emotionally volatile member. 
That would be your sister. I have spoken.